feel do you think that you know I mean these artists putting you know this real life beef on wax is what gets your attention when it comes to liking their music well yeah people that like controversy shit i think a lot of people in the world like controversy they like to see you say fuck him and then see what he gonna respond back to say fuck you like people's in this shit like that yeah you know what i mean and it's sad but that's what people you know what i mean and that's why it said that fbg duck back to them like that, that it took for him to drop dead bitches for him for that shit to go crazy but look what that song did it made niggas really be like, oh, we're spinning. He's disrespecting. He's over the limit of disrespect now. We got it. Cuz, what is we doing? He got to that point, right? Like, yeah, what are we gonna do? Yeah, we spinning like, he's disrespecting. They said everybody talking about the females in there. And that was the second time, too. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Vaughn's this is wasn't even that harsh. He just be talking about them niggas talking this shit. His shit with that damn when I, when I heard that dead bitches, I said, man, hope nothing don't happen to Cuz. Cuz that shit. That's the song right there. That song, that energy, that, that song bring, that song had an energy with it, homies. That song had a fucking energy with it, man. I ain't even gonna lie, bro. I, I don't even like listening to the song, bro, because it's so disrespectful. Super disrespectful. Me, right? I don't yeah. know none of the people that he's talking about, so for I feel like it would be disrespectful for me to ride around and listen to it. At first, I did like it and shit, because like I said, like you said, I wanted to hear what it was, what he was talking about, but now that I understand, like, I don't really, I can't really get with it now. You feel me? Right. Got anything else to say about the situation? I mean, what, the FBG duck? Anything. I mean, that shit just sad, bro. Like, we got, nigga got, like, I don't know, like, that's it. That brings a certain energy crazy when you diss somebody dead, because they can't, dead person can't defend themselves. And you know they got saying? a whole bunch of people that's alive just going to defend them. Right. So you got. But you understand. don't even know. But you don't even know. Nigga got cousins. Nigga got might got a cousin that's like 15 now that's in the mix. Yeah. And that might have been a cousin I ain't never get to see. And he ready to bitch you about him. You know what I'm saying? So niggas just gotta change the way niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I can't say change shit because that's a Chicago thing, man. Like I don't think, like I said, when niggas try that shit elsewhere, he just became flip. Can't do that shit I Pittsburgh. remember back in the day, I used to ask the question like, "How you feel about Pittsburgh? Like stealing slang, like the the Chicago slang? They stealing the thoughts and ops and all that shit. They saying that gang, gang and all that. Yeah, you know I mean, do you feel like Pittsburgh was trying to imitate that that beefing situation right there with the FBG ducking uh, the 63rd first Oak Block shit? I mean. That's the, I can't, I ain't gonna lie, I can't knock the young niggas because the Chicago got the world with that. So that's what they see. See, when we was coming up, it was BG and them. You know what I'm saying? We seen BG. That's who had the world with the, the New Orleans. That's why a lot of home with niggas were buckets and all. Let me get that shit from the NO, bro. Homies, like New Orleans. Wow. Had a, yeah, wine, check me out, Cuddy. And all that shit. We got that from them niggas. That, it had a big thing on us. It, like how Chicago. Chief Keep got a thing on these young niggas. So now these young niggas are saying my block is 75th, and we the 700 niggas, you know what I mean? We the 2600 niggas, and you know what I mean? So that's what they see, you know what I mean? And and and, and them little niggas, Chicago, they really spanking shit. You know what I mean? They ain't really playing, they really torching shit. They checking shit. So I see why they imitate, because that's how it was with New Orleans. New Orleans was really spanking shit. Soldier Slam, and them niggas was known for. Body and shit. That's why Soldier Slim got flipped, because he was known for body and shit. He was known to do shit. So that was what we seen, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't. Yeah, that's all right. I get it. With the Chicago shit, I get it, bro. But it's time to stop it now. They, they, they too much down. I feel like they losing superstars. Like, 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 like how they niggas dance like Lil Wayne down in the, in the, in the height of his career. I would have cried like a baby. If Lil Wayne got killed, cuz, could you imagine that? Lil Wayne gets shot at the height of the 25. Little Wayne, Wheezy. Nigga that was on every feature. Could you imagine that shit, bro? That's how they lose their superstar. Their little King Vaughn and them niggas. Them niggas is going, was going to be close to being on a Lil Wayne. That little nigga tells stories that they say he's the best story maker. Tell her he ain't even get to live his whole life. Oh, yeah, with that being said, I, I want to say rest in peace to DMX because you know. That shit was a little harsh for me. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's somebody I used to listen to growing up. But well, look, shit, bro, you know, you, know what I, you know what I understand, bro? And Del Max, what was he, like 55 or something? I don't know, I think it was 50. Yeah, and rest in peace to Del Max, man. But 
Look how I had a great rapper if you get to see him grow old and die. I want to be a rapper and grow old and die. You don't want to. I mean, 50 ain't that old, though. 50 ain't that old, bro, but you never know what, what a nigga been doing to, to, to wear down. But he made it long enough. That wasn't long, but he could have lived at least an extra 10 more years or something. Maybe but it's all about you take care of yourself. Could have been 90 out here, right, bro. Right, right, right. But DMX, we know he's getting high shit. They were saying that, bro. He's yeah. getting high. That shit weighs. That puts a toll on your body. I'm just saying, nowadays, the rappers are dying when they're 24. Look 23, look at Pop Smoke. Pop I Smoke was only about 20. Pop Smoke. It was only 20 years ago. Right, I was going to ask man, you about that. Let me deal with Pop Smoke, man. Yeah. I didn't, first I wasn't even, I'm like, man, who's this deep voice nigga, man? I wasn't feeling it at first. When she played it, I woke up to the party. That's what I wanted to go. I'm like, man, who the fuck is this, cuz? This is ass. Homies. <laughs> then I listen to him. I'm like, man, this nigga is hard as hell because he was able to keep that rhythm to every beat. I'm like, man, this nigga is hard. Homies. He was the nigga talking about Dior and shit. We get, we rocking Dior slippers and all that because of Pop Smoke, man. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke, man. That's crazy, man. Shit like that. You leave your address, some hate niggas come and take it. Like, just, that's what I'm saying. Like, this world is cruel. I mean, Locks, like, they got it, they got it. Oh, in Brooklyn, they got the little situation going on too with the Woos versus Chos, where like yeah. they got Bloods and Crips to squad up against the GDs out there and all that shit. So, you know I mean, like that's kind of the same situation as the Chicago, yeah, because they got this New York drill shit now. Yeah, but like, I feel like I mean? yeah, but I feel like they don't be that much bloodshed. You know what I'm saying, man? Chicago be it be bloodshed, bro. Like that make me think this is set up. Like they, like they dropped a box of crate of guns and just left them there. For how, how you feel about King Vaughn, FBG Duck, and Mo Three all being on Empire Records and then passing away? Bro, I'ma tell it like this. If niggas feel, cause I know where you're going with this, and I heard niggas say this. If niggas feel like niggas is is, is getting them niggas and sacrificing, them, bro, you know what they're doing. They're, 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 they're making their money on some shit to say, we gonna sign these niggas, cause they booming. But the shit they said, they ain't gonna last too long. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't tripping, we gonna put this money in up and do whatever, cause they ain't gonna last too long. I know it. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that might be the case, but it's not no, they're personally sacrificing them. They can sacrifice they self. You doing, you in the streets, bro, you get caught down bad, that's the streets, bro. It's not, you can't talk gangster and then when you, you know what I'm saying, you get spanked, nigga, oh, he was a good, no, nah, you was in the streets. That's what come with it. Homies, and niggas don't understand that. A nigga like me, do. Homies, you can't talk like a real shit, get flipped and think niggas gonna feel sad for you. Homies, you can't, that's just how it go. You know what I'm saying? So in that, in that, in that case, no, nah, bro, you know what I mean? You gotta, no, nah. that, 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 all that mean is they making money off us because we're not living right, you know what I'm saying? They need us. We the talent. They need, it's not like they get like, I'm a sign Moochie and sacrifice him. Like, what? That's, no. They're doing their, 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 if anything, they're on some shit like, okay, we going to sign Moochie. What is he talking about? Killing people and shooting them up? Oh, he, he'll, he'll die. He'll be dead in a couple years. So we'll be able to collect off of him. And, you know what I'm saying? That's why you heard Shulk say when, when, when uh, Pac died, he said that, Shulk said that, uh, white dude was like, oh, got you a dead one, huh? When he seen me. Box. Got you a dead one, huh? You a, you a lucky motherfucker. Got you a dead one. They be waiting for us to die, bro. Home niggas just don't. Niggas just, niggas just stupid, bro. We ain't, we ain't smart. They want us to die. It's easy, nigga. Instead of that, niggas will think they they intentionally be grabbing us to sacrifice. Well, no, we kill ourselves, homies. Ain't nobody kill us. We kill ourselves. We few and we doing shit. You catch me down bad, you get smoked. You know that pop smoke the only shit that you can think of. Like damn, pop that Nipsey hustle. Nigga, he call a nigga a rat. Nigga come right back and smoke him. But all, come on, bro, all. You know how mad I'd be if niggas let niggas run up on me like that, bro? Homie, I'm Nipsey Hussle. I ain't nobody out there like this, cuz. Hey, who, who the, who's that? And he just called him a rat. They told him to dip, that's what they said. I ain't nobody out there forefront. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got to change the way shit we do and the motherfuckers we hang around and, and get niggas right. You know what I'm saying? Get, it, get ourselves right as black people. But that ain't what we doing. We doing some butt ass shit. We just dying. How I, I, I look at King Vaughn as a little Wayne. I, I would never know to see him be his peak. He was only 24 years, what, 25? 25 or 26. Or 25 or 26. He had at least, uh, right, uh, 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 at least a, a, a four year crazy run. 
like a money bag yo had. I watched money bag. I was been banging money bag yo, nigga. I told nigga, I used to call niggas four years ago and tell nigga, like this nigga money bag yo, I'm getting all the ass to this nigga. Y'all niggas is playing. My homies, this nigga about to be crazy. Nigga, money who that? Like he's hard, I'm telling you. Never not been fucking with money bag yo, banging his shit. So that's what I'm saying, like, and he and, and you gotta you gotta look at it like this. Money bag yo ain't rest his soul on burn brain on him. He ain't gonna be getting shot up at and and the shit, he just rapping, making money, living his life, bro. Little baby, he just rapping, making money, living his life. He ain't getting shot up and shot at the shit. So it, it, it gotta, that gotta mean something. All right, but their content is not really the same as the other content that the other artists make. Right. So what's that telling you, bro? Energy. Energy, bro. Energy. So, Money. so what can we expect? That what type of energy do we got? Coming off of this, respect me or expect me too. Oh yeah, you gonna get the energy of me. I'm me, and I, and I, 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 I rap and tell niggas and let niggas know how I am, and that's why my shit is called that. Cause it's respect me or expect me. Period. If you don't respect me, then you know it's wrong. That's, that's basically what I'm saying. If you respect me, nigga, we could get money together, whatever, nigga. And I'ma respect you. But if you don't respect me, it's on. The homies, it's not cool. It's on. If you don't have no respect for power, it's on. Watch yourself with me. That's all. All right, so that, go get that, y'all. It's on all platforms. It's out already. Boom. You know what I'm saying? We gonna wrap this up. I mean, shout out. Shout out your shit, bro. Yeah. BSQJ Pound, man. Instagram. BSQJ Pound on Facebook. Respect me or expect beef June 6th. All yeah. Talk Deasley. Out right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my Pittsburgh niggas. All my real niggas, all my street niggas, all my hilltop niggas, you know what I'm saying? All my Hollywood niggas, I'm gonna keep grinding. Go grab that tape, go bang that tape, June 6th. I'm telling you, that might be the hottest underrated shit in the city.